Good evening. I'm Jane Velez Mitchell. Welcome to my nightly newscast at Facebook.com slash Jane Velez Mitchell. I'm here with Foxy, and we're talking carriage horses tonight. And uh, joining me is Donnie Moss of TheirTurn.net. He is also uh, the man who uh, put together the documentary Blinders about the carriage horse uh, trade. So tonight we're going to be talking about the move by New York Class and other groups to end carriage horses in New York City. And as one protester told me, I covered a protest uh, outside the New York City Council offices uh, just the other day, if you suddenly brought carriage horses into New York City, if they didn't exist, and you suddenly said, hey, let's bring in some horses and have them move through traffic, uh, you, people would think you were out of your mind. But because it's tradition, this critic said, then it's accepted. And I thought that was an interesting argument. So, Donnie, I want you to update us because the mayor of New York had made a campaign promise to end carriage horses in New York City. He's been in office uh, quite a while now, and it hasn't happened. What's the latest? Well, he did make that promise, and the community is going to hold him to it. We understand that legislation is going to be introduced imminently, and as soon as it is, all of us have to lobby our city council members in support of this bill, and we need uh, activists around the world to, to, uh, to join this fight. Now, uh, I have talked to uh, the men and women who operate the carriage horses. I've covered the story in the past, and their argument is that, well, they always use the argument of jobs. They say that the horses have a low accident rate, and that basically they're fine, nothing to see here, and that accidents are rare. Uh, so I want to give their side of the story, and I hope I'm not boring you, uh, Foxy, with that yawn. Uh, I want to get your response to that because that is their side of the story, that this is uh, not just tradition, but that there's really no problem here. Of course they'll say that because they make money off of these horses. But Jane, by forcing horses to work in the streets with aggressive taxi drivers, tour buses, ambulances, we're treating them like motor vehicles. It's inhumane it's unsafe for them and it's unsafe for us. Remember, horses are flight animals and when they spook and bolt down a busy New York City street, they become weapons. No amount of regulation can stop a horse from spooking. Also, Jane, New York City has no pasture where these horses can graze, run, roll, or interact physically with other horses, as herd animals do. They've been stripped of the ability to do anything that comes naturally to them. For what? So uh, let me ask you this. If people are upset about carriage horses and they feel that, well, the time has come to transition to um, something else, to, to allow these carriage horses, let's say, to go to sanctuaries, and I understand that, that the, I don't know how many carriage horses there are, but that there are people who have made commitments to take these carriage horses in sanctuaries, etc., so that they could just live out their lives in pasture, what would you tell people to do? Look, as soon as that bill is introduced, as I said, people need to get involved with the legislation, sign the petitions, um, and also if people still doubt the wisdom of banning horse-drawn carriages, please watch Blinders. It's on Amazon and you will, you will have no doubt that these horses don't belong in the congested streets of Midtown Manhattan. Jane, tradition is never an excuse for the inhumane treatment of animals. If Barcelona can ban bullfighting, then New York City can take these horses off the streets. Now, Alec Baldwin once said something that really stuck with me, that if you took the horse-drawn carriages off the streets tomorrow, nothing would change. The hotels would still be full, as would the museums, the theaters, the shops, and the restaurants. Uh, the time is now to take archaic and anachronistic horse-drawn carriages off the dangerous streets of New York City. Uh, I want to thank you, Donnie Moss, and I also want to say that this is an open conversation. If carriage horse drivers um, want to join the conversation, uh, please do. Uh, go to my Facebook page, Facebook.JaneVelezMitchell, and uh, weigh in however you want to weigh in, and uh, we want to hear all sides of this. Uh, one thing I can tell you is the horses cannot speak for themselves. They are completely voiceless, 
and uh, they can nay, <laughs> but they can't say no. So that's why human beings who care about animals have to speak up for them. Thank you so much, Donnie Moss of TheirTurn.net, and please join us every night, 7 p.m. Eastern, at Facebook.com slash Jane Velez Mitchell to get the very latest breaking news in the animal world. Good night.